Assalamu alaikum. Now this is the jacket for the Grana dress uh, that I made quite recently. Now many of you might already have seen Inaya wearing this and part of the tutorial. Now when I made this I was so so rushed for time that I didn't get time to do a full tutorial on this and the design I can't even begin to tell you how exceptionally beautiful this was. This just looked amazing on her and if it's, if it was up to me and if it wasn't so hard to wear all the time I would get an eye to wear something like this all the time. Honestly it was just amazingly beautiful, I can't describe. It was elegant, It was uh, the colours are so subtle and so beautiful. So I wanted to replicate this and I wanted to show you guys how to go about making something like this. So I did a step by step tutorial. I went into quite in depth and I used a little bit of miniature paper clippings to describe what the cut is like and how you go about to uh, transfer the measurements and how you go about making the full suit. Now there's a slight bits of variations that I've done, very very marginal slight variations. I've actually tried to improve it better than what I did with this. Uh, the couple of things that I made a mistake with and you may have noticed that was because I was very rushed for time, I was sort of lastminute.com, I I didn't quite figure out what I was going to do with the neckline so I slightly cut it too deep <coughs> and then I had to sort of like compromise um, I, it went well but um, I could have done with adding lining and stuff to this I didn't get time to add the lining but you know the overall design of this dress is just magnificent it's so pretty I can't even begin to describe you know I'm so much in love with this it's like um, a jacket type of a dress. Uh, so the next one that we've done is you may, may have seen me show this pink and it's again it's the similar design that I've done uh, with a slight bit of a, a modification uh, where I've gone and I've fully lined this. So I've put I've left it open, I put stitch buttons on so snap fasteners to close it off. I'm going to open this up and just show you from what it's like from the inside as well. It's all fully lined in a lightweight pink fabric and what that's done is you know there's no uh, raw unselvaged edges it's like a it's like a what do they wear shirwani it's like a shirwani jacket and then it's all panelled beautifully finished um, this is like for me this is like a masterpiece because I don't normally take this much care when I make stuff uh, generally with kids you know they only wear them a couple of times I know even with Inaya she's not going to Pro most likely, um, as beautiful as these clothes are, unfortunately, they're not the type that you can wear all the time. They're just a little bit too uh, bright, they're too much weddingified, they're difficult to maintain because if children are playing around, you know, they can't run around in the dress they can, but uh, what it has with it then is difficult. Now, the other slight bit of variation is I've put a bow. Um, which I've made out of a circle cut. This is the only part that I haven't done the tutorial on. So it's basically you just cut like a circle and go around it with a needle and thread all around the edges. Pull the uh, you know pull the thread and so it becomes a bunch drop and then half it and so you know in between so it becomes like a, a bow and then go around it with an extra bound material and uh, that's just sort of like giving it a bit of a finishing I've applied these sort of like dangly buttons on as well uh, again these buttons don't really have a lot of life but they look nice so we'll see if they end up fraying I'll uh, swap them around with some other buttons now that's the jacket then really you need the whole of the garment in order to fully fully fall in love with something like this and now this again is like the gypsy skirt but these are not gypsy skirts, they were the full two legs, okay, and it's called a grara, uh, it has, it's, um, 
a very ancient traditional dress is a Mughal, uh, you know, all the rich and the very famous wore, you know, especially our weddings and so on, they would wear stuff like this. So it's like a bit of a gypsy style combined with having the legs. It's fully lined. So again, you know, it's got two separate pieces that have come together and basically that's the dress and then to finish it off we've got a beautiful beautiful little dupatta to just finish it off and I will finish this off the finished uh, edges of the dupatta with all the Banarsi trim and what a combined beautiful suit this is. Um, I would request all viewers to make something like this for Eid. Uh, do you know what? Don't go bother go wasting your money on ready-mades. When you compare this, even though this is quite heavy and difficult for children to handle, when you consider what ready-mades are and how irritating and itchy those can be, this is just um, luxury to wear. You know, it's all finished off. I've made sure that I've left nothing that will irritate her and it's going to annoy her. And really, you know, um, the, the kind of look that you get with these, you cannot buy the mass produced ones like this. So uh, full tutorial It's taken me the whole day to do this one outfit, which I am, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. My stand has gone off. Oh enough and it's not holding on. That's another expense that has to be forked out. <laughs> oh damn. Okay, anyway, you've seen what it looks like. We're gonna go and try and find Inaya to get her to model this for us and then uh, you can give your verdict and I would like to see many viewers, you know, making something like the three outfits lately that I've done for her each one has been prettier than the previous one uh, the sharara the tulip salwar uh, not the sharara the garara and the tulip salwar they've been the focus of the last week or so inshallah we're gonna see what other designs we can uh, there is the patella salwar that I want to do for her so I think next one up is going to be the patella salwar and then we're going to be focusing hopefully on uh, something else and move away from Inaya. So take care and I will hopefully see you again soon.